I'm Wayne McGregor with huntingwildlife.net and this part of the course right here is in the field training. Uh, what we're using is a bow mounted camera. Um, the camera is a Sony, it's a little HD camera. Um, it does have steady shot on it which will get rid of some of the vibration and everything. This is a bow mount made by the rifle cam company. Uh, I like to use it when I go out and film by myself and for an auxiliary angle while I'm hunting. Um, I basically just uh, use my Nikon Archer Choice uh, range finder on the target right there. We're at 20 yards right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one shot here. I dialed it at 20 yards at Ed's Archery. Um, I basically bought this bow from Ed's Archery. I didn't buy it. He gave it to me as part of my sponsorship. They're just great folks and they've been a sponsor for two years. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 20 yard shot and uh, I didn't get an opportunity to adjust my pins for distance. So then I want to go to 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. And I'm actually practicing the way I would hunt. So I hunt with the bow cam on. I want to practice with it. You'll see it in some of the cutaway footage from the segment of this class. So um, to give you guys kind of an idea, I'm um, going to have Lucas hold on to the range finder because he's going to be my 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 yard range marker. Okay. I've got Tommy on the camera over here, and I've got Brian Potter on the camera over here. We're getting two angles, and then we're going to cut this into the uh, video editing software using the function called Audio Sync that will put the audio clips together, and they'll all be right there. Um, this bow right here, uh, once again, was donated by Ed's Archery of Clio, Michigan. Um, it is an Athens bow. It shoots roughly 330 feet per second. These arrows uh, were recommended to me uh, by Steve, the owner of Ed's Archery. They are Carbon Express Maximum 250s. They're light, and this bow is very fast. So I've got a true glow uh, sight pin on it, standard peep sight, and a whisper biscuit. Um, I use a whisper biscuit because if I'm way high in a tree and I've got a downward angle like that, I don't want my arrow moving. Uh, makes a huge difference when it comes to shooting in the field. The other thing that I have um, on my arrow is a lighted knock. The lighted knock will provide you a little bit of enhanced performance in videoing your hunt. When you shoot an animal with a lighted knock, it produces some great video. You see it, it's like a lightning bolt going right into the animal, it's beautiful. Um, just excellent, excellent video stuff. Okay, the other thing um, that I want to just touch base with is this bow has a little tree holder. It's real nice, okay? It just makes it easy hanger, doesn't mar up the bow, keeps everything clean. Um, this is also a lighted sight. True glow sight has a little light. You just turn it on, it lights it up for the low light condition. So I'm going to take a 20 yard shot. Hopefully I'm pretty decent with it. Um, the other thing is the release. It attaches right here, okay? This right here is a true fire. The reason why I use the true fire is simple, okay? If I'm hunting by myself, I have my bow hung up, okay? I don't have to hold on to this release. I don't have it strapped around my wrist. I don't have it making any noise, okay? I have a hand free to run an auxiliary camera. I want to do things as easy as possible. So as easy as possible is, I remove my bow, I have nothing on my wrist making noise like the wrist releases. If you're trying to operate a camera with the wrist release on, it's not easy. So I just pull it off, it's attached right to my bow, I draw back, I'm ready to shoot, okay? Um, the biggest thing with using the bow mounted cameras is practice. Practice your stability, okay? When you take your shot and you have this camera mounted, for an example, okay, I'm going to shoot and then I'm going to simulate the animal running off, okay? But I'm always going to keep my arm extended. If I don't keep my arm extended or the animal runs off or there's fatigue, I will pull it close to my body, hold it against me as a stability fixturing point, and I will operate the camera on the bow just like this. But the whole idea is keep it steady, keep it in the shot. Um, I have the camera turned on right here. I'm going to basically hit record. And hopefully I don't look like an idiot taking a 20 yard shot, but here it goes. Still holding the bow out and steady and stable. Now I can come up here and I can turn the record button off. 
because I recorded that little segment that I wanted to get right there. Just the shot, okay? If I'm practicing in the field and I'm on an actual hunt, I will leave the camera on for the most part. So I'm going to record again. And then, you know, here's a little tidbit for practice, okay? A tidbit for practice is, is imagine after you shoot, visualize the animal running off and how you're going to get that footage, okay? And practice the animal running off in both directions. This will give you stability and it'll give you good film. If you wanted to go out and just, you know, Joe Schmo off the street, you want to go out, video your own hunt, you can do it with this product right here. You can video the whole hunt. After you take the shot and you want to video the celebration of the hunt, right? Obviously don't have an arrow in it, but let me, I'll just pop this real quick. So, take a little arrow shot. And then I'm going to simulate the animal running off. time keeping the camera steady and focused you've got that footage that's footage that you can go out real time and shoot it you want to film the celebration you just smoked that big buck you turn the camera around yeah just smoked a 150 class buck check it out we're gonna go get it now okay now you're filming your recovery you know whether you want to keep it on here or not keep it on here Okay, you're tracking your animal, hold the bow close to you, move nice and stable, nice and steady and slow. You can always speed up the recovery after the fact um, with the video editing software, but you've got a lot of capability to do what you need to do right here in the field. Um, I recommend these for anybody that ever just wants to get out, have a good time and film their own hunt. If you want to film your practice, film your practice. The best way to do this is always keep it on your bow, just like it's your regular vibration dampener. Video all your stuff and practice doing just like that. Boom, you shoot, the animal runs off. You know, if you noticed, I kept my arm steady and stable the whole time. And that's exactly how it works. The nice part, you, you shoot it, then you can drop down to the camera. You can look through the camera out of your other eye and follow the animal all the way through. So, it's a nice little product. I really enjoy using it, it's a lot of fun. And it makes for some really good secondary footage. So, I mean, if you want to use it as your sole way to video your hunts, you can do that. If you want to use it as secondary footage, you can do that. But it looks sweet when you have a cut-in with two cameras. One picture here on the deer with the nice camera, the kill shot, and the follow-up with this one. You can pretty much handle all your stability, video your own hunts. You know, talk about a ranch and some awesome things, okay? These guys got a billiard room. They got a, a walk-in cooler. They handle all the... the the meat for you, the skinning, you know, I mean, that's huge. You go to any other ranch, that's another three, four hundred dollar deal, man. Here you go, here you go, here you go. You know, that's why you look at these ranches that they uh, advertise these cheap hunts, right? Oh yeah, the hunt's real cheap, but hey, when they when you get there, how are you gonna process it that 800 pound elk? I'm like, they're like, oh yeah, you gotta hang it, you gotta do this, you gotta pull it out of the field. You can't pick up an 800 pound elk. You're gonna sit there in a field with a bunch of flies and everything going on and gut it out right there and they're everywhere, you know, excuse my language. But, you know, it's an added perk to using the ranch. You know, it's the, the, the first class establishment all the way. I mean, down to the mint on the pillow, the shampoo and the rooms, conditioner, everything has Heartland's logo on it. I mean, you can't get more of a first class place than that. You know, I mean, I've been, I've hunted a lot of places, and it's never been this time. And I've hunted a lot of places where you're out of a tent and stuff like that, and I tell you what, man, after a hard day, you're all sweaty and nasty, no shower and all that, I'd rather be here. <laughs>